Amanil Kumar, this is a very interesting video where we are going to derive the formula for half angle, right? So let me add double angle and half angle here. The question here is, we need to express sine theta by 2, cos theta by 2 and tan theta by 2 in terms of cos theta, right? Okay, so let's begin with cos 2 theta. Uh, to derive all these formulas. So we know cos, we'll begin with cos A plus B. Cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B, correct? Now if I substitute A equals to B and that to equal to, let's say, angle theta, then what do we get? We get cos theta plus theta equals to cos theta cos theta minus sin theta sin theta which is equal to cos square theta minus sin square theta right so that is a double angle formula cos 2 theta equals to cos square theta minus sin square theta now from here we can actually write the expression in terms of cosine or in terms of sine Right. So let's do case one. We'll write in terms of cosine. So we could say cos 2 theta is equals to cos square theta minus. I'll write sine square theta as 1 minus cos square theta. So that gives me uh, 2 cos square theta since minus and minus becomes plus, so we get 2 cos square theta minus 1 is equals to cos 2 theta, correct? Now, we could rearrange and we could write this as 2 cos square theta, bringing 1 to that side, 1 plus cos 2 theta. Or, we get cos square theta equals to half of 1 plus cos 2 theta, correct? And with the square root, we can get what is cos theta equals to. So cos theta is square root of 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2. We are interested in half angle. So what we do here is we could write theta as, uh, let's say, alpha by 2. So if I substitute, if I substitute, let me substitute, uh, uh, 2 theta as equals to alpha, then theta will be alpha by 2. Is it okay? So with that substitution, I get here cos alpha by 2 equals to square root of 1 plus cos alpha divided by 2. Also, whenever you do square root, you have to do positive and negative both signs. So we'll do that. So that becomes a formula for sine theta by 2 in terms of cos theta. I could replace alpha with theta, right? Okay, so let's do the same steps for case 2, which is writing the expression in terms of sine theta, right? So let's do case 2 now. So now what I will do is, I will write this expression, which is cos 2 theta, equals to cos square theta minus sine square theta in terms of sine square theta. That is, I'll replace cos square theta as 1 minus sine square theta. I have minus sine square theta. Is it okay? So that gives me 1 minus 2 sine square theta cos 2 theta. So rearrange, so we get 2 sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta, we're doing exactly the same steps. We get sine theta, uh, let me do square, and then we have 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2, and now sine theta is what? Sine theta is square root of 1 minus cos theta divided by 2, but with positive and negative sign. Making the same substitution, we get sine of alpha by 2 equals to plus minus square root 1 minus cos alpha by 2, right? 
Now we know what is sin alpha by 2, what is cos alpha by 2. We can find what tan alpha by 2 is. So we can say tan alpha by 2, half angle, is sin alpha by 2 divided by cos alpha by 2. So when you divide this term by that, these two cancel off. And what are you left with? 1 minus cos alpha in the numerator and 1 plus cos alpha in the denominator perfect so we get these formulas is it clear so we got all the formulas the only thing is instead of theta I wrote alpha since in between I just substituted theta so I don't want to mess it up right so so basically we have all the three formulas which I can now write as my result as sine theta by 2 so replacing this with theta we get square root of plus and minus of course always plus and minus and we have 1 minus cos theta divided by 2 for for cos theta by 2 the formula will be plus minus square root of 1 plus cos theta over 2 square root and for tan theta by 2 it will be 1 minus cos theta over 1 plus cos theta square root. Correct? So these are the three half angle formulas which you could always use and they will help you a lot in finding exact values of many different angles. For example, 67.5, 33.75, 15 degrees, 7.5 degree. I hope it made some sense. Thanks for watching. If you like, that will be great. Keep sharing my videos and your suggestions. Thank you.